did you hesitate at all when the FBI said, would you like to listen to the audio recording from the cockpit? Did you hesitate in wanting to hear it at all? I did not hesitate. And just to be completely clear, they never came to us and said, would you like to listen to it? Ah. Um, from the very first day of September 11th, 2001, I asked and fought for that tape to be released to uh, the family members. And it took seven months to mm. have that released. They released it to us in April of 2002, but it was a long process. Uh, I spoke to many different governors, U.S. representatives, U.S. senators, uh, FBI, the director of the FBI, many times over during that seven-month period to have that cockpit voice recorder released. They were all concerned about what we would hear and yeah. how we would react to it. Well, we now know you uh, won that battle seven after of seven months because you were allowed yes. to hear it. And, and if you can, just walk me through this process. I don't know how many family members, you know, were in this battle with you here to listen to the audio. But can you describe what it was like walking into to the room and just hearing what what you did? You know, every family who was represented on that plane was allowed to have up to four family members come into the room to hear the voice recording. And most of the families chose at least one person to represent them so that they could hear it. Um, and we were allowed to hear it twice. Mm. And in addition to that, we had a uh, transcription that was on a video screen. So what you couldn't understand, you could at least see the words. Mm -hmm. And it was, um, it was an experience that I had looked forward to for seven months. And so for me, it gave me this incredible sense of peace. I was able to hear Tom's voice. Mm. Uh, there were many other family members who heard their loved one's voice. And it really helped us to not only hear the sounds and answer the questions that we had, but it created this visual uh, that allowed us to have a better understanding of what our loved ones went through and what they experienced on that flight. It was hugely important to be able to have that um, uh, with us for, for the remaining years in trying to grieve and get past um, the, the sorrow and, and letting go of the grief. Was, was it one thing, Dina, in particular that you heard that helped you with that sense of peace, or was it just in totality? I, I think a little of both, really. It was in totality. I knew that he was involved with the task at hand. He was not afraid. He was not, um, you know, sitting down and letting whatever was taking place on that plane happen to him. Mm. He was fighting back to make a difference. Mm. And so that was huge. But I, I did hear him. I heard him uh, shouting direction and leading and knowing that he was doing what he told me on the phone he was going to do was really important to me. Whew, all these years and, later, but, you know, goosebumps. More than that, Dina, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Well, you know, I have to tell you, really what was most important, I think, for most of us in that room is that the, the scenario of what happens in your own mind is uh, more of a nightmare than really hearing those sounds and having the visual that they create for you. So um, I would really encourage the family members to continue to ask and That's to fight for wondered if you had the advice release for of them. that. Keep fighting. Yes, for that recording. Because like, a, I mean, the nightmare that you create in your mind is just so much harder than anything you could hear on that tape. Hmm.